So you're thinking about moving to Roseville, California? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over the pros and the cons, the ups and the downs, and the ins and the outs of living here. So let's do it. If this is your first time to the channel and you'd like to stay informed about the current market in the greater Sacramento area, then please subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications. My name is Carla and I'm with Gold Group Realty and I would love to help you find your new home in the greater Sacramento area. So please reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. So before we go over the pros and cons of Roseville, I thought I'd give you a few facts about Roseville that you may not be aware of. But Roseville is in Placer County with a population of 152,000 people and has been voted number seven suburb of Sacramento, according to Niche.com. It also has an A grade for schools. I have heard many wonderful things about the school system in Roseville. So that's something you definitely want to check out if you're thinking of moving to Roseville. The weather here is beautiful in that it's going to be the hottest in July and August with temperatures up into the 90s and sometimes into the hundreds, unfortunately. And the coldest months are going to be December, January, and February with December being the coldest month dipping down into the 40s. It's even been reported to snow here at the end of December at times. The most common bugs that the exterminators are trying to keep out of homes and offices in Roseville are going to be ants and spiders. And the traffic in Roseville is going to be most congested around the Douglas Boulevard exit, where there's going to be a lot of shopping centers such as Costco and Trader Joe's and some of the big name stores in that area. So that is going to be the most congested time. Also, Friday afternoons are going to be congested in Roseville and it's off of Interstate 80. So that's a highly trafficked interstate anyway. The air quality in Roseville is generally considered good and good is anything under a hundred. So today I'm recording this video in the middle of September 2023 and the air quality today is 25. So that is fantastic. Well, I had the opportunity recently to interview some of the local residents and find out what do you absolutely love about living in Roseville. I also asked them what they didn't like about living in Roseville and they couldn't hardly think of anything to say. So I thought I'd share those with you today. They like it because the Carnegie Museum offers a walking tour of Roseville so that you can get a feel for what it was like when it first started and have a historical account. They love the library there. They said it's a very resourceful library and they enjoy going to it. They also like the community center there which has activities and events for young people and old folks alike. They like it because they feel like they live in safe neighborhoods. They feel like it's a very safe place to live. And they also like the close-knit community, united community feel. They say people are very close and helpful. They also like it because the downtown area has a lot of events that brings people together. And such as the third Saturday of every month is where artists can come out and sell their art and they have drinks and food down there and it's just a really fun place to be. They also say that the downtown area has an old town feel. They especially like that. Some of the things they didn't like about Roseville was that it's too hot. So I have to say that if you're moving here from the Bay Area, you would have to acclimate to the temperatures here because it would definitely be too hot for you. They also don't like the traffic. Like I said, at times there's going to be more traffic than others, but they don't like the traffic probably more people moving into Roseville. They also think there could be better resources for the homeless population. So that's it. There you have it, the pros and cons of living in Roseville. So if this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you have any more questions about Roseville or you're thinking about moving here, I would love to have the opportunity to talk to you. So please reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. And until then, I will see you around town.